The Breeze out there is playing a few more tricks than we can imagine. Free kick to be paid here though. Is that Goldsworthy? It is. It is Goldsworthy. Kick number three. And this is a nice kick too. Goes down towards half. It looked nice off the boot, but uh, the mark has been taken here by the Glenelg player down there. Dropping back in Sam Shaw, who has been a late inclusion in the team, the Adelaide Crows. Now it's with Cully, who handballs off to Raymond. Raymond from centre half back kicks towards the outer side wing where Hall takes the mark. He runs to half forward, kicks nicely towards Staple, but Shaw there right with him. Fritz to the line, out of bounds. Forward 50 arc, northern end of the ground here at Unley Solar Oval Woodville. 25 and a half, a hard one I must say by Trembath at forward 50 arc. Allows Jared for the Eagles to pick up the loose ball. Gives to Gariga. He too is a fairly distinctive kicking style as he kicks towards this member's wing. Staple was spoiled illegally, many of the Eagles fans thought by Shaw, but the umpires let it go and Shaw's kick is a good one. And at 52, we've got nearly 25 minutes in this fourth term. There's the throw in McGinty, of course, who got the tap out, taken away by Lewis. Lewis in turn gets it across there to his uh, teammate in Staple. What was it Staple? It was Chris Knights, of course. Down towards uh, the half forward line. Coming out of the fence, though, it will be the uh, Glenelg defenders uh, once again. And it will be Grieger, who's got a, a wonderful spring. Big Button was in there, returning to league football after a season out at Strathalbyn. Agnew kicks the ball. The red-headed Agnew in towards centre half forward. He's the only Agnew out there, but the red hair <laughs> just stands out. Lyons has got the ball. He lines it up and he puts it through. He's in the way. We can see, but you have to crane the neck a bit as the kick from Salopec over the heads of the pack. And in the end, almost bounced out of bound before the Eagles. Jared picked it up. He gave to McKenzie, who handled straight to Lyons of the base. He gave to his skipper there in Allen, who linked up nicely with Bradley, who's kicked towards half forward bound to stand wing. And, take, and he finds his teammate in Trembath. Trembath loads up, kicks towards half forward, about 60 from goals. Spoiled well on that occasion was Hitchcock by the Eagles defender, Gafrida Hine just came in, picked it up. So he's going to be lucky to get away with this, and he does it in fact, holding the ball. It's a great tackle. Hoping from the middle for the Magpies. Kicks the ball out towards this member's wing. Coming off half back and meeting it strongly on that occasion was Jonas for the legs. His kick towards the wing position. Nord do it nicely with handball. Comes to H. His kick off hands. Dor couldn't take it cleanly. Erskine. Well, the Magpies virtually flew against one another and consequently now the Red Legs will bring the ball out to Tina Wing where Baptanis takes the mark. He's got to play a run. Yeah, in here, guys. And over it goes to Young Brown. Brown now will put the ball inside 50. Warren's in the van. All he has to do is take it and run on. And oh, they've got the handball to Brown. Brown's had a couple of bounces. He's had three bounces. He's advancing towards the 50. Will kick into the pocket. There's a player there leading out. Great footy, but the player dropped that mark. That should have been... It comes down to defence of 50 right half back where Hoskin has taken the mark. It's taken them a while, but they've found some space as Hoskins kicked to Thurgood on the wing. Pissed it away from him by Fuller. Brown picked up the loose ball back to Fuller, who kicks inside 50. Beard spoiled of power this to the rookie. Not from Guernsey, 55 last year, 25 this year as he kicks long towards the outer side wing. Off the hands of the pack. In good position is Brown for the legs. He picks up the loose football. Drives Nord inside 50. Phillips working off Hoskin there. So Dolling to bring the ball back in, comes in short, finds Gray in the defensive 50 for Maggie. 25 minute mark of this final turn. He'll go short again, the, the kick is miscued. And comes to Brown. Brown will kick around the body. Look pretty good off the boot, it is. Another goal to the red leg. Just always put Slattery. And then his forward hand pass, just a hand on it from North Adelaide. Back they come through Allen. Turnover. Allen is free kicked in the end. And away comes Laird. Laird approaches half forward. Inside yeah. half forward with a kick, a beautiful kick. Yeah. And then Fisher will Two best points of the night now. He has, yeah. We thought the first one couldn't be beaten, but Chris, I don't know now. <laughs> Westies bring the ball in immediately straight oh, down the Alex. ground. They get away with it with a good bounce, finding Green, and then wide he goes, and Caruso's in a lot of space. Caruso on centre wing, goes into half forward for Fisher. He might get another oh, shot at goal. Red straight to the hands oh, of Rise. McKean's oh, oh. spun around on a tackle twice. Umpire Dean, he didn't have prior opportunity. Caruso goes back by hand to Ezard. Ezard pumps it up towards the 50 metre arc just underneath the scoreboard which shows his team trailing by nine points. Ivans keeps it in front of himself. 15 the margin in favour of North Adelaide. Well, out near that scoreboard ball to be thrown in. Willits just taps it to the front. 
eventually cleared by Filky inside 50. Great punch coming in from Clisby. Ball was roved though and off to Fisher. This is Ben Porter. Goal before half time for West Adelaide. And we are set for a Crackerjack final term. Craig gets the tap down. West Adelaide roving it through the stoppage. Now it's with Filky. He goes further afield by hand towards Schmidt. Schmidt wheels him more to one. the top of the 50. Just overshoots Brad Fisher there. But he's make free. And the free kick oh, will he's, come he's back and too. he's in a bit of trouble there. Would have been Laird who, who made the tackle. He gets it out for Fisher, that's Ben Fisher. And then Ben Fisher sends it into Kerr and Kerr inside half four and a big mark taken by Brad Fisher. Only got the one player on the interchange and that is Chris Smith at the moment. Chris Smith has, um, hasn't played a lot of footy this year either. He's had a lot of time off on the interchange in the last quarter or so. Well, it's a free kick to West Adelaide at the centre stoppage and an advantage as Beach goes long and direct. Ivans is in position A, eh? just needs to sit for him. Having a fly. With a kick, Bennett had two touches of the ball. Now it was Johnston. Johnston couldn't take a slattery with a great inboard hand pass. Caruso sold the dummy and then inboard he went. And inside half forward, Laird goes with a kick. Oh! Fisher at the back, Brad oh. Fisher has a chance to kick his fifth of the night. Oh. Collingwood, 9-8-62. Willits gets the tap down straight towards McCready. He goes backwards by hand towards Beach. Goes long and direct up towards the 450. Oh, yes. Good, strong mark. Good mark taken out here by Laird. Laird at 60. Unloads in towards the 450. They're looking for Brad Fisher.